All right, so this is a Costco item review. It's not on sale. This is the cheesecake. All right, so $16.99. All right, pretty big cheesecake, 17 basically $17. All right, so anyways, let's go ahead and take a closer look here. It's getting all fogged up. All right, they have these little perforations so you know where to cut if you want. Here are the ingredients. All right, cream cheese, pasteurized milk and cream, cheese culture, salt, carabin gum, guar gum. Then there's sour cream, uh, grade A cultured cream. The sugar, graham uh, crumbs, which are enri enriched flour, wheat flour, niacin, iron, thymine, mononitrite, riboflavin, folic acid for the enriched flour. And then there's, <clears throat> what else? Sorry. <laughs> okay, and then there's graham flour, sugar, palm oil, high fructose corn syrup, molasses, salt, sodium bicarbonate um, for the graham, uh, graham crumbs. All right. And then there's eggs, um, whole milk with vitamin D, butter, cream, and or milk. Wait, what? <laughs> the butter is made with cream and or milk and salt. And then contains 2% or less of the following enriched flour, wait, enriched flour, which is wheat flour, niacin, iron, thiamine, uh, mononitrate, riboflavin, folic acid, right? Palm and or canola and or soybean oil and or inter interesterified, uh, what? Interesterified soybean oil and or fully hydrogenated cottonseed oil, um, water, mono and diglycerides, nonfat dry milk, Salt, cornstarch, natural and artificial flavors, polysorbate 60 preservatives, TBHQ, citric acid, um, soy lecithin, and may contain artificial colors, FDNC, red 3, red 40, lake blue uh, 1, blue number 2, lake, um, yellow number 5, yellow number 5, lake, yellow number 6, yellow number 6, lake, all right? And contains wheat, milk, eggs, and soy. So if you have allergies, make sure to be careful with this. All right? Produce on equipment that also processes peanuts, tree nuts, and sesame. Consumers with food allergies, please read the ingredient statement carefully. Keep refrigerated. Sell by October 14th, 2022. We purchased this on October 10th, 2022. And you can see net weight, 72 ounces, 4.5 pounds. There's the barcode. All right. There's not really anything on the bottom. I'm not going to flip it over for you to see. So let's go ahead and um, pop this off. So you got to kind of like push this down. All right. The lip. And then you can kind of get this up. You want to look where these little clip thingies are. So the easiest way is you kind of just push around on the outside. All right. And then you can see it pops out. And there we go. Okay, so we're going to use a knife, butter knife to cut a slice. All right, I'm just going to cut a kind of a slice here on the lines that they show. And, oh, it's not going to cut cleanly. We're going to get a mess here. All right, and then we're going to cut this line here. All right, at the end of it, as you can see where the lines go, there's going to be a circle there. Okay, so let's see if I can lift this slice out. It's probably just going to get all destroyed, but let's see. Okay, so, oh, it's not cut fully, I guess. Okay. All right, it's popping itself out now. So this is what it looks like. All right, you can see the graham cracker stuff on the bottom. I'm going to actually just plop it in my hand. So this is what it looks like. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going to be uncivilized here, but you can see there. Okay, and let's go ahead and give this a taste. Mm. Good cheesecake. People are probably going to watch this and go, I can't watch it. You're eating with your hands. That's disgusting. <laughs> I apologize, but I don't. <laughs> All right. So you got this top layer. There's three separate layers. You can see there's the frosting. There's the um, cream cheese or cheesecake. And then there's the crust. So let me try the layers separately. Let's try some of this crust. The, cr the crust is kind of like a pie crust. Soft and mushy. It's not like crumbly or anything. Um... And yeah, it's like graham crackery. Not a strong graham cracker flavor, but yeah. 
All right, then we got the cheesecake. Very rich, very cream cheesy, slightly sweet, not too sweet. And yeah, all right, let's try the last layer. Here you go. Little bit tart, um, like a very slight bit tart. Texture's kind of like cold butter. Uh, I don't know how many people have put cold butter in their mouth or like fat that's solidified. So yeah, anyways, um, I really like this. You can eat it with like some fruits. <clears throat> I would get like jam or jelly. You can put like strawberry jelly or jam on it or whatever flavor you want. It'll make it taste even better. If you see this at Costco, um, I think it does go on sale every like very rarely. Um, so yeah, probably don't wait for a sale because it's probably not going to go on sale for a very long time if it does. Um, <clears throat> the reason why I bought this I mean, I like cheese other than the reason other than liking cheesecake, but the bakery was closed for like a very long time. They were uh, renovating it and then they finally opened it up and I saw these and I was like, OK, I got to buy one now because I couldn't buy it for a long time. But yeah, other than that, there's not much else to it. There's if you cut them like this slice and there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Did I count right? 18 slices. 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Yeah, and 18 slices. So, yeah. Um, you can, of course, you don't have to follow the cut guidelines. There's no nutrition facts on here. So even if you cut whatever, you're not going to know what percent of fat or whatever you're eating. I'm going to tell you right now, this is very, very high in saturated fat. Like... It's just cheese and butter and cream. So, yeah. Um, Sugar-wise, probably somewhat high, but it doesn't taste super sweet. Not like regular, like, American cakes you buy at, like, um, a grocery store. Um, so, yeah, this is pretty good. Um, you can also eat it with, like, coffee or something to help with the sweetness or the richness. Something warm. Uh, warm milk or something. Sounds like would be good. But yeah, usually we'll eat this with like some fruits or you can eat it with ice cream and it'll taste really good. They go really well together. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Highly recommend giving this a try if you haven't tried it before. Um, if you're not a big sweets person, make sure you have a bunch of like friends and families you can share this with because that's a lot. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.